My name is Scott Lewis, and I'm writing a biography of Dr. A.J. Armstrong, who was head of the English department here at Baylor from 1912 until 1954. Um, I'm a graduate of Baylor. I graduated in 1983, and while I was a student here, um, I was an English major, and I worked in the Armstrong Browning Library. And I was immediately fascinated by this character, um, Dr. A, as he's often known. Um, and for many years, I've had in my mind to write a biography of him. Well, perhaps the best resource for writing a biography of Dr. Armstrong, or for that matter, anyone else, is um, correspondence. Um, and fortunately, Dr. Armstrong was um, an amazing letter writer, so there are thousands of letters. But another very important resource for the biography is um, scrapbooks that were kept by his landlady that he knew when he taught at Illinois Wesleyan University in Bloomington, Illinois, before he came to Baylor. There are five scrapbooks, um, and they contain photographs, they contain letters and postcards that he sent to Mrs. Wilson. It's a, a, an amazing treasure trove of um, information um, and images about Dr. Armstrong. This is the, the first of the albums, and there's a wonderful photograph of the young Dr. Armstrong in this album. Another great resource um, for writing a biography is personal knowledge, and I've had the great privilege and pleasure of, of meeting a number of Dr. Armstrong's former students. Needless to say, there aren't as many around as there used to be. So anyone who might think that they have anything in their attic or in their grandmother's um, treasure box, it would be worth them having a look and, and letting us know if, uh, if they do. The book will be launched um, at Homecoming in 2012 to mark the 100th anniversary of Dr. Armstrong's arrival at Baylor as the head of the English department. 2012 is also, and Dr. Armstrong would want me to say this, is a very important year for Browning because it will mark the 200th anniversary of Robert Browning's birth on May 7, 1812. So we're going to combine, I think, here at the Browning Library that year, celebrations for Browning and for Dr. Armstrong, and hope anyone interested in, in both of those will certainly be here to join with us, and, and, um, but get in touch if you have anything about Dr. Armstrong.